Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Since I really enjoy hanging out with you guys and chit chat and just to get to know each other a little bit better each time, I thought it would be fun to incorporate these types of videos maybe once a month on this channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think because I think it would be fun to just have a good quality time together where we can relax, hang out and talk about different topics. Since there were so many more questions that you guys asked me for my other Q&A video, I decided I would just jump right back and answer even more questions and I really hope you enjoy it. Make some tea, make some coffee, relax and have a good time. So the first question is by Yoka. How old are you and where are you from? So I'm currently 28 years old and I'm from Germany. I was born in Russia but moved to Germany when I was about 7-8 years old. So I've been living here for almost my whole life and yeah. But I can still speak Russian, I'm now German and English so my head is all over the place sometimes. So whenever I speak a certain language, some other words from another language jump right in. Um, usually it happens when I'm tired or stressed or nervous uh, or I don't know why the next question is by gaber gaber 0901 is there a hobby or type of art that you haven't tried yet that you would like to so i used to dance sing and do music stuff for years when i was younger and then i had to go to university study and work and so there was little time for that but Whenever I go to concerts or where it's the opportunity to dance or sing, I'm like crazy and feel like something in me is still like not fulfilled um, when it comes to music and dancing and singing. So maybe I would want to take singing classes. I haven't had really a singing class. I was teaching it myself and in school and maybe even dance class, like really like, uh, like more professional types or I haven't tried out graffiti art graffiti graffiti art i would love to do that and also like whenever i see some kind of action movies or action series and they fight i always think that i want to learn that i want to fight and want to be able to be like this badass superhero and fight and do good not just to fight and stuff but you know like to protect myself that would be fun there's just so many things um i still haven't figured out how to manage everything the next question is by sb zuban hey make lots of love how do you feel getting all the attention from your fans are there situations that you may feel to give up how do you cope with such situation i love getting nice comments and sweet messages where you guys tell me that you like my videos or how i helped you but there are times where it's difficult um, to cope with such things because sometimes whenever i'm not replying to like everyone some people feel like i'm ignoring them or feel like i do this on purpose even and this this really hurts because I do my best to answer to as many comments as possible but some people take it even further and feel really like angry and disappointed and then reach out to me and tell me that I'm ignoring them, that they want to, to unsubscribe or that I don't know like like they take it so seriously and so personally that it makes me sad because I put so much effort into replying to everyone to read as much as possible to let you guys know that I'm reading that I hear you what you say so I wish you guys like can understand that there are way too many messages too many comments that I need to reply and whenever you don't hear anything from me it's not because I'm ignoring you it's just that there's so many comments so many messages that I just physically can't reply to everyone and it's nothing personal I'm not ignoring anyone so yeah I hope you can remember that next question is by art tutorials i want to travel but i don't have enough money any advice this is not related in art but related in life also i see your story on instagram like you're traveling to different places so i think that you can give some tips advice please yeah i don't know how this happened but in the last maybe two years i've been to different places for work but also for like vacation or family things i like rarely spend money on anything else besides what i need i spend most of my money for like rent bills and art supplies food i never buy anything like i rarely shop don't buy anything like just randomly just because i want to buy something so there's like still a little bit money left i can invest into something like traveling and i always feel like you get more from investing in experience than in when you buy something it's more rewarding and you get more out of it when you invest it into something that you can learn from from experiences and anything that is not material i think it's 
so much more worth than a physical item that you can just look at or use sometimes. If your goal is to travel more, then I would recommend to look into like the cheapest methods to go to another place. For example, you can look into buses and like shared buses are a lot cheaper. Or for example, if you want to stay somewhere, maybe you have friends where you can stay over or maybe you can uh, look into like couch surfing where you can use someone else's apartment. And I also saw a video of two travelers. They have a YouTube channel called Shut Up and Go and they talk about all sorts of traveling methods, ways, how you can save money and I will link it in the description box below. So I hope it will help. Next question is by Deepika. Katuria. What do you do when you get upset from anything? To be honest, I don't get really upset nowadays. I used to get super upset every time and I would complain and uh, be angry, but I realized it's just so much energy that you're wasting for something that it already happened that you can't change. At some point I switched and just started to find solutions whenever a problem came across. And whenever something came up that would make me angry or unhappy i would just try to talk to myself and figure out a way to cope with that it's important to not jump to like conclusions and be angry about something just be calm about it and think it's okay it's not that bad or what wants this situation teach me so for me personally it helps to just find the positive and the negative but sometimes i have those phases where I feel crappy and just everything just sucks and sometimes those tactics uh, don't really help. So what I do is just, I know, okay, this will take a while to go away, but I will just sit through and wait until it goes away. I know it's 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 really difficult because you sit in your body and you you know you, you are different than you are in, in, in this moment. So I just feel like I just need to give myself some time and then it moves away and then I feel better. I hope this helps. The next question is by Edisa Kuroki. What do I do with family members that hate on my hobbies? For example, they call my art pieces that I'm proud of trash. I'm even shocked to hear that your family would say such things to you. I know that sometimes people are not happy with something the other person does or they don't approve or they just don't like it, but it has nothing to do with you. It's just their problem. But if someone says your art is trash or crappy or bad or I don't know what. I wouldn't even take those comments seriously because people who understand what you're doing, they wouldn't say such things. They would support you, tell you what you can improve on or change. Uh, and people who just say it's trash, they just don't get what you do. And, and I wouldn't waste my time thinking about people who are just mean without reason. I would find people, maybe online, maybe your friends, and talk to them and ask their opinion. They can be critical and say, I like your painting. I would suggest to you maybe want to change this or that and improve your art um, in this way. Yeah, just focus on your art and what you like. And as long as you like it, that's the most important thing. Okay, the last question is by Alia Hanifa. Do you have a favorite TV series? I actually have tons of shows that I really love watching and I constantly rewatch them like Big Bang Theory, Friends, but I have also like shows that I currently watch I haven't rewatched them yet and that's Suits, Flash, currently like the, the, the ultimate obsession is The Arrow and I just started like watching it a little bit and then I got sick and I just binge watched like the whole like all the seasons almost and just I think it was just two weeks just couldn't stop it was so good like you can't just, you, you like you want to continue watching and and i felt like i need to finish all the episodes so i can continue with my life um yeah i had a serious problem but comment down below what other shows you like and what shows i should watch and check out i'm very curious whenever i have time i will check it out if you have any other tips answers for all these questions that i got comment down below and let's help each other out and share ideas share knowledge and experience and tips and just help each other out Thank you guys for being so sweet and for all the support. Thank you so much for watching this video and for watching all my other videos and giving the videos likes and comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.